You touch your image manually, it's time consuming. And to get a decent result, you have to spend time learning how to retouch. But with the help of AI, you can retouch your image like a pro with ease and also save a lot of time. The photo you're looking at on your screen right now was retouched with AI. So this is the before and this is the after. So in this video, I want to show you how to retouch your image like a pro with AI. And we're going to be using the Retouch of Me AI and the Reblum AI. So once we bring our image to Photoshop, the first thing we want to do is to do our basic cleanup and also remove the blemishes. So I'm going to be doing that with the Retouch of Me heel. So I'm going to duplicate my background layer by pressing on Command J or Control J if you're using a Windows. After that, I'm going to come to Filter, come to Retouch of Me and just click on Heal right here. And by the way, if you need this Retouch of Me, I believe the link you can get it in the show below of this video. And if you use that link, you're able to get 20% off any purchase you make. All right, so let's just wait for it to load. Okay, it has finished loading. Now, if I zoom in, you can see the retouch on me here has just removed the blemishes from this image. So, see the before and the after. So, with the help of AI, instead of spending 20 minutes, 10 minutes, or 30 minutes, or even an hour removing blemishes, you can just do it in one click, as you can see, the before and the after. And if you want to control the amount of blemishes you want to remove, you can do that with this sensitivity slider right here. So if I don't want to remove all the blemishes, I can just reduce the sensitivity. It's going to keep some of the blemishes. And if I want to remove all, I can just take it to 100. So I think $100 works for me. And from here, I'm going to click on OK. You can see the before and the after. The before and the after. So let's say, for example, you want to bring back this black mark on the face. You don't want to remove it. What you can do, you can just add a layer mask to this layer one. So let me just rename this layer heel. Okay. So you can just add the layer mask to this heel and pick your normal brush tool. Make sure the foreground color is set to black. All right. And just paint on where this black blemish is this, to bring it back like that. So the before and the after. So you have total control over this AI tool. All right. Now, next time I'm going to do, I'm going to use the retouch of me to do my dodge and burn just to smoothen out the image. So to do that, I want to create a stamp visible layer by pressing a command option shift E or Ctrl Shift to turn it E if you're using a Windows. And I want to come to filter. I'm going to come to retouch on me and I'm going to click on dodge and burn right here. So what this is going to do for me, it will automatically do my dodge and burn for me. So those parts of the image that are looking too dark, it's just going to make them bright. And those parts of the image that are looking too bright, it's just going to make them dark thereby making the image look smooth. So, you know if you are doing dodge and burn manually, you can spend hours, like literally hours, doing micro dodge and burn. But with the help of Retouch on Me, you can just do that in less than one minute. So let's just wait for it to load right now so you can see the before and after. All right, it has finished loading. It's really fast. So it depends on your PC. If you're using a fast PC, it's going to be really, really fast. So, see the before and the after. See the image, the before and the after. The before and the after. And also, you can play with the blend right here. If you want to add more dodge and bow, or you want to make the dodge and bow to be intense, you can just come to your blend right here and take the blend into about 200%. So if I take it to 200%, sometimes it's going to look too smooth. So see the before and the after. The before and the after. But I think 200% is not bad for this image. Also, you can control the warmth. So you can move the warmth up. If you want those places that are dodge and bow to be warm, you can do it with the warm right here. So I think I'm going to use Let's use 15 for the one, see the before and the after. The before and the after. And from here, just click on this soft light layer and click on apply. So if you look at the image right now, you can see where this retouch for me did the micro dodge and bump for us from the image from this map right here. So what we want to do from here, just come to your blend mode and change from normal to soft lights to bring back the original image. So this is the before and the after. The before and the after. Now, I feel this part is looking too much, the before and the after. So what I can do, I can either reduce the opacity or if I want to work on only this particular place, I can just add the layer mask. Once I add the layer mask, pick my normal brush tool, make sure the foreground color is set to black, take the flow to about 20%. All right, so let's use flow of 20% and just gradually brush on this part with a black brush to reduce that effect right there. So before in the after a lot better now you can do that for any part of the image you feel is looking too much but let this work for me see the before and the after so that's the first step 
So let me just go with the retouch only so you can still do before and after and to group. With this first layer selected, you can hold Ctrl or Shift and click on this last layer and press or Command G to group. So I'll before and after. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm still going to smooth the skin even more using another AI tool. So I'm going to create a stamp visible layer by pressing on Command Option Shift E or Ctrl Shift Alternate E if you're using Windows. Once I do that, I'm going to come to my filter, come to Reblum. I click on this Reblum retouch right here. Now for this Reblum retouch, I keep saying it, it's one of the most underrated retouching tools ever. So what this Reblum retouch is going to do for us, it's just going to smooth the image using Micro Dodge and Burn as well, and also remove the blemishes from our image, thereby making the image look smooth and make it look good. And the best part about these AI tools are, it retains blemishes on your image, and also make your image look smooth at the same time, giving it that professional looking result. So that's why I said, you can use this AI tool to retouch your image like a pro. Alright, so it has finished loading. Let me just zoom in so you can see the before and the after. It looks really good. So, see the before and the after. Wow. The before and the after. And for the Reblum, you have two options. You have the Matura. Now, for this Matura, you're just going to fix the obvious place of your image, thereby leaving those other parts of the image. But for this fashion right here, it's just going to give it that glossy fashion look. So I put it with this fashion right here. Also, you have two options, the general option and the texture option. Now, this general option controls the dodge and burn. So it controls the amount of dodge and burn you want to do on your image. While this texture slider right here controls the amount of textures you want to remove on your image. So for me personally, I prefer to leave both at 100, 100. And if your PC is slow, you can just change this process to ultra fast or fast or balanced. But since I have a fast PC, so that's why I use high quality. See the before and the after. The before and the after. I'm going to hit OK. So let's just group what we've done with the AI so far. See the before and the after. And also for the Reblum retouch, if you use the link to your blog this video, you can retouch only media picture for seven days. So you can retouch as many pictures as you want for seven days. So if you feel you need it after that seven days, you can buy it. If you feel you don't need it, you can leave it. It's up to you. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, we're just going to fix the makeup on this image. Now, to fix the makeup, I'm going to create another stamp visible layer. So, press no command option shift E or control shift alternate E. Then, I'll come to filter, come to retouch on me, and click on this face make right here. So, once I click on this face make, I'm just going to open up this makeup, turn the makeup on. Once I turn the makeup on, for the eyes, I can just choose smoky veil. I'm just going to add that smoky effects to the eyes. So let me just zoom in so you can see. See the before and the after. The before and the after. So you have different options to choose from. So you can just play with it and see. So I think this one works. Let's see. See the before and the after. The before and the after. So I'm just going to play with the hue to change the color. So let's see this red. So I think this red works for me. See the before and the after. The before and the after. Now from what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the lips because I like the color of the lips. I'm just going to add focus to the image. So to add focus to this image, I'm going to come to skin and just click on this sun kiss right here. Once I click on this sun kiss, so for the depth, I'm just going to take the depth down. Now the depth is how intense you want the makeup to be. It's like opacity. So I'm going to reduce the depth of the focus a little bit like so. Let's use 43. All right. So see the before and the after. The before and the after. The before. In the after and from here if you feel you're done you can just click ok so the before makeup after makeup using ai you can see how good this image is looking already now i'm just going to add depth to this image i'm going to do my global dodge and burn and to do that i want to create another stamp visible layer by pressing on command option shift e or control shift alternate e then i'll come to my filter come to my retouch on me again and click on portrait volume right here so this portrait will just add depth to your image. It's like global dodge and burn. Let me just wait for it to load. All right, that's finished loading. See the before and the after. The before and the after. You can see just add depth to your image and you can play with the blend. If I take it all the way up to 200, you can see it's too obvious. See the before and the after. The before and the after. No, I don't want this. So I'm just going to take it down a little bit. So let's use about four. Let's use 30. 30 might work. See the before and the after. The before and the after and i'm going to click on apply right here now for me if you feel it's too much you can just reduce the opacity like this now that's what i'm going to do i'm just going to fix the skin tone and just make the skin to look even 
So to do that, I want to create a snap visible here. We're going to now command option shift A. Once I do that, I'm going to come to filter and just come to retouch on me and just click on skin tone right here. So let's just wait for it to load. As it's loading, if you've learned all this video so far, make sure to like this video and also share this video with someone who you think might be interested in this video. Thank you. So let's continue. That's finished loading. So see the before and the after. The before and the after. If you feel it's not enough, you can just play with the blend right here. So you're just going to try to even out the skin tone and just make the skin to look even. Obviously, like this is looking too much. See the before and the after. The before and the after is looking too much. I think I'm not going to use this. I'm just going to cancel it. All right. I prefer the original skin tone. So I'm going to cancel that. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to come to filter again. Come to this with touch on me and click on this face make right here. So I click on this face make, it's going to apply the previous settings. Since I don't want to apply that previous settings, I really want to come to my eyes. I'm going to change it to none. Now come to the skin. Instead of using sun case, I'm just going to change this to this sunset glow and just take the depth to 100%. So it's going to affect the skin tone. Now, see the before and the after. The before and the after. You just add that blush for us, as you can see. The before and the after. The before and the after. I think I like it like this. Maybe reduce the depth a little bit. All right. So, see what it works. And I'm going to click on OK. Wow. AI is fuck. Sorry. AI is really amazing. All right. See the before and the after. The before and the after. So let me just go back with what I've done with AI so you can see what from and where we are right now. So see our before, you can see how the image was and our after, our before and after. So as you can see, you can literally get the professional looking results using AI and also saves a lot of time. And also, if you want to learn everything about how to use the retouch on me, if you're interested, you can check out this video right here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.